Okay, so name of the chapter is electricity. First topic is electric circuit. What is electric circuit? It is a path through which electric current flows. Okay, so this is how we draw an electric circuit. In junior classes, we used to draw like this. This is bulb, this is switch, and this is battery or cell. And then we connect them with wire. So this is representing the path of electric circuit. Okay, this is an electric circuit. But you, we used to draw like this in junior classes. Now in class 10, we will be drawing with proper electric symbol. Okay, so bulb can be drawn like this or bulb can be drawn like this. This is a symbol for bulb or any resistor any electric equipment okay and this is switch this is battery and these are wires so this is how we will draw electric circuit now because switch is open so this is open circuit and if it would have been closed then closed circuit okay then the next topic is electric current now what is electric current it is amount of charge how many charges are flowing to a particular area in a given time, in unit time. In other words, this is a short definition of ele electric current. It is a rate of flow of electric charges. Electric current is rate of flow of electric charges. What is the meaning of electric current is rate of flow of electric charges. Now, what is the meaning of rate of flow? That how fast charges are flowing. That is charge upon time. Rate of flow of charges, that is how fast charges are flowing. So, we can write electric current as charge upon time. Okay, so the symbol of electric current is I and that of electric charge is Q and time is T. So this is the formula that we are going to memorize to be used in numericals. I is equal to Q by T, but we'll remember that I stands for current, Q for charge and T for time. Now, what is the SI unit of charge? It's coulomb. What is the SI unit of time? It's second. And what is the SI unit of electric current? Ampere. So, electric currents... SI unit is ampere, charge SI unit is coulomb and time SI unit is second. So 1 ampere is equal to coulomb per second. So this relation has to be memorized that 1 ampere can be written as 1 coulomb upon second, 1 coulomb per second. So then we have the definition of 1 ampere. Define SI unit of electric current. See SI unit of electric current is ampere but how to define it? How to define 1 ampere? When an electric charge of 1 coulomb when an electric charge of 1 coulomb flows through a wire in 1 second, flows through a wire in 1 second, then the current produces 1 ampere. So, we will be taking help of this equation that if 1 coulomb of charge flows through a wire in 1 second, then the current produces 1 ampere. Okay. Talk about the, talking about the direction of electric current, then we know that electrons flow from negative to positive electrons right electrons flow from negative to positive because electrons are negative okay and the direction of electric current has been taken conventionally fixed opposite to that of electron okay so that means if electrons are flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal current is flowing from positive to negative so we will memorize it we will remember it okay so coming to the next topic which is m meter what is m meter it is a device every meter is a device it is a device which is used to measure electric current flowing in the circuit. Okay, so it's a device which is used to measure electric current in a circuit. How is it connected? How is a meter connected in a circuit? It is always connected in series. Series with the equipment through which we have to measure the electric current. You can see this is how a meter looks. A is written here. Okay, this is some unit micro. It can be milliammeter. It can be simple A also, A for emitter. So you can see this is the circuit, this is the lamp or bulb, okay. And this is battery and see it is connected in series. Series means same path, okay. So bulb, emitter, emitter is connected in series. So this is the circuit diagram that you need to draw. Okay, coming to certain numericals based upon the topic that we have done, NCRD in, in text numericals. A current of 0.5 ampere is drawn by the filament of an electric bulb for 10 minutes. So current is given, time is given, noted down current and time is given, time is given in minutes. So we will convert into seconds by multiplying with 60. So it is 600 seconds. We have been asked find the amount of electric charge. Charge is being asked. So we will use this formula. IQT, there is a formula which is relating this. That current is equal to charge upon time. 
Substitute current. Look here. This is the current. Substitute time. Here is the time. So you can multiply these two and you will get Q. And you then report SI unit of Q which is cooler. Coming to the other questions. What does electric circuit mean? So it is closed and continuous path through which electric current flows we have covered. Define unit of current that is they are asking the definition of 1 ampere. So 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb by 1 second. That is if a charge of 1 coulomb flows through a wire in 1 second then the current is said to be 1 ampere. Calculate the number of electron constituting 1 coulomb of charge. So this is important and this is different as well. So let us see this properly. Calculate the number of electrons. Okay constituting one coulomb of charge so there is a formula which is called q is equal to ne this formula is formula for quantization of charge okay quantization of charge this is a property of charge what is quantization of charge this equation is quantization of charge that says the charge is always integral this is some integer n is some integer integral multiple of e what is e charge on an electron so charge is always integral multiple of charge on an electron and how much is the charge on an electron minus 1.6 into 10 is for minus 19 coulomb we'll have to memorize this okay anyways coming to the question calculate the number of electrons so, we will have to calculate N. Constituting 1 coulomb of charge. So, Q is 1 coulomb. Constituting 1 coulomb of charge is written. So, that is Q is 1 coulomb. And E, you will have to memorize that electronic charge is this much. Charge on electron is this. So, please substitute. Q is 1. N is to be found. And electronic charge is this. Substitute. Bring it down in next step. See, I have brought it down. Then 10 to the power minus 19 is going up. So, it will turn positive. So, 1.6, 10 removed here. This is 10. Now, I have opened 10 to the power 19 as 10 to the power 18. And 1, 0 I have given to this 10. 100 by 16 I divided. And I have reported that So, these many electrons are there in a charge of 1 coulomb. So, what is the principle that we have used? Is quantization of charge. Charge is integral multiple of electronic charge coming to the next topic which is electric potential difference or electric potential okay see for water to flow what we need is height difference that is pressure difference okay in order that water is flowing from this level to this level what we need is height difference that is pressure difference right similarly for electric current to flow we need potential difference or electric potential difference or electric current to flow between two points and he who provides us that the cell this is cell or a battery group of cells they provide us potential difference and that is why when we connect a battery in the circuit current flows okay anyways what is electric potential difference we'll have to cover this quantity so this is amount of work done in bringing a charge from one point to another point per unit the magnitude of the charge right so we'll understand it properly see symbol is the v of electric potential difference what is the definition or statement what is this quantity amount of work that is done okay amount of work that is done in bringing a charge from one point to another point so basically amount of work per unit this is upon per unit the charge moved so, this is your potential difference. Okay. So, again, let us write and try to understand the definition once again. Potential difference is amount of work done in moving a charge from one point to another point per unit. The charge moved. Okay. So, this is the formula. Potential difference is equal to work upon charge. This is the formula. Okay. SI unit of potential differences or electric potential differences is volt and work is joules and charge is cou coulombs. See, I have written here second by mistake. Okay, charge is coulomb. So, 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per 1 coulomb. Okay, potential difference unit is 
hold works unit is joule and charge unit is coulomb okay now we have to define one volt what is one volt so you can see one volt is equal to one joule by one coulomb okay so we can write these things once again and let us see here see v is equal to w by q is the relationship between potential difference work and charge okay potential difference is said to be one volt okay potential difference is said to be one volt if we do a work of one joule in moving a charge of one coulomb from one point to another point so if a one one joule of work is done in moving a charge of one coulomb between two points then the potential difference between these two points is said to be one volt this is how we can cover the definition okay you can see okay now how to measure potential difference right potential difference is measured by this meter which is called voltmeter so voltmeter is an equipment which measures potential difference between two points how is it connected it is connected in parallel a meter was connected in series same path this is connected in parallel so you can see this is a bulb and we have to find out the potential difference between its points so we will connect voltmeter here this is parallel arrangement okay now this is a circuit in which both emitter and voltmeter are there so you can see that this is bulb okay so same path is emitter emitter is connected in series and voltmeter is connected in parallel so you should learn that how to connect voltmeter and emitter in the same circuit okay, this is the battery this is the bulb this is key okay so where is emitter connected in series in same path and where is voltmeter connected in parallel okay let us discuss the related numericals a charge of 2 coulomb so write down charge of 2 coulomb potential difference given 12 volt what is asked how much work so work is asked what is the relation v is equal to w by q substitute q v okay you will get w report an si unit name the device that helps to maintain potential difference the cell or battery what is meant by what is meant by saying potential difference between two points is 1 volt so i told you v is equal to w by q potential is said to be 1 volt if 1 joule of work is done in bringing a charge of 1 coulomb from one point to another point how much energy energy is work okay work and energy are equivalent so work basically they are asking to each coulomb each coulomb means 1 coulomb 6 volt battery so again we have q and v we can substitute here and we can find out energy or work okay so keep in mind what makes current flow between two points potential difference and who provides potential difference cell or the battery cell has one end as positive and one as a negative so it is maintaining potential difference between two points okay thank you kindly prepare